so I was asked, and one of the, the pastors opened up the package in front of me, and he says, less is more, you should just put one song in each uh, envelope instead of four in each envelope, you know, and so I've been just putting out the new envelopes only have one song in each envelope. Got to speak up. The new envelopes only have one song in each envelope. Well, I've arranged a, uh, a ride for you in Norfolk to go pass out some more of that. Oh, area. wonderful, wonderful. Well, and I hope you can take me to a hobby shop because I love, love trains. And uh, I'm hoping to meet a nice young lady that's a musician and an artist like me on this tour because the six years I toured with Phil Shy and Adam Papagan, I had no luck with the women, but. And then I toured with Jonah for almost going on three or four years, and I haven't gotten laid or met a girl to date or go out with. And I've had no luck with Tinder. Just before I came on this tour, four girls, four white girls stood me up, and two Asian women from Tinder. It's cheapskate girls I have to forgive and move on. And I uh, was looking forward to, I text them and they told me they were available. They managed to meet them at Denny's, meet them at, uh, uh, at um, Carl Jr.'s, uh, the one I was supposed to meet at, um, at Burger King. She never, ever, 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 never, ever showed up, and Starbucks. So I'm going to know the best chef to come. I'm going to meet some really nice women. So, I, uh, I told Jonas since he didn't like the food at the hotel, he could take it out of our joint account and get himself a veggie meal, but he doesn't want to do it. He just had a banana or something small to eat. I'm fine. I have some banana and some nuts. I'll get later. I need to stop and use the bathroom. Okay. Well, I just want to thank you. It's beautiful here in Virginia. The trees, the pine trees are beautiful. I can see why Jonah doesn't want me to use paper to chop them down. The trees are beautiful. We need the, the, the trees to purify because the trees send out a certain amount of oxygen to purify the air and all the pollution in the air we the trees. So I am sorry. I, I, I hope someday I can be a man of my word and not get any more copies to cut down trees. Those trees are beautiful. They like clouds, different shapes and forms. I like nature and I, I I don't like it when they spade and cut down trees, especially when trees are 15, 16 years old. There were a lot of beautiful trees in La Brea Targets where I used to sell my portraits and I, it broke my heart. They chopped down rubber trees, pine trees, palm trees that had been there for 60 and 70 years and they gave, gave great shade and they were very pretty so uh and then I, when i used to go touring with shown up they had these huge pine trees in north carolina and i mean the huge pine trees correction in in northern california that were just extremely beautiful they the the stalks were so thick that if they cut them open you could drive right through them they were real thick, beautiful pine trees up in the northern California area. So beautiful. Where do we go that near San Francisco area or where were those? I don't know, Santa Cruz? Yeah, they're just beautiful. Humble. You know, I, I feel that, that, that Jonas, Jonah likes to go camping. I like to go camping. I used to belong to the, um, the uh, Sierra Club and we, uh, Sierra Club I used to belong to, we would save animals where, where forests had been burned and we would take them to other forests where it was more safer for them. We used to paint, we used to plant pine trees after a fire so new trees could grow in areas. The Sierra Club is a wonderful group to belong to if you like nature and plants. Also, when I was growing up in the 50s, 60s, 70s, I belong to the 4-H Club. 4-H Club is a wonderful club. I wrote a song called I Love Nature. We taught you how to live off the land like an Indian. You, um, you uh, make raspberries, uh, you hunt 
how to do with fishing, how to throw your meals, uh, and it was just uh, nice to go fishing and hunting with my dad. And we ate uh, duck, uh, we could eat deer. I know John is a vegetarian, uh, and we ate wild boar. Wild boar. And, uh, Gotta speak up. We ate wild boar and we ate deer and we ate wild duck. You know, I. So, anyway, uh, I hope uh, I can. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm Richmond. Is, which is the first city we're going to? Norfolk. Norfolk, okay. All right. Well, uh, so I just, uh, it's beautiful traveling on the freeway, seeing the beautiful pine trees and nature and, and seeing a place uh, that's uninhabited. I hope the, on the 95 freeway, it goes all the way to Massachusetts. Uh, it's just a beautiful trip seeing all that beautiful nature. Uh, I want to, Jonah goes camping a lot. I want to go camping with him sometimes because I used to go camping with my dad a lot. Uh, and I also belong to the 4-H club where I went camping too. So, that's, that's just, uh, I wish you could be here on the 95 freeway traveling through Virginia to see how beautiful the forest look. It is outstandingly beautiful. And I repent for all the times I got copies of my sheet music and copies of things that I had trees chopped down and some trees chopped down. Oh, uh, my cousin Linda McKinnon was a hippie with her husband Winfrey Platinum, and they also were like Winfrey Platinum. They did. Uh, they were also like uh, Jonah. They didn't like to see nature chopped down, all the beautiful trees. So, uh, all right. So I guess that's all I have to say. Is Porky B Pig with the BBB? That's all, folks. Thank you for having another visit with me on the adventures of David Lee Hart. Toodaloo.